With Shipwreck Saturday done and over with, for the foreseeable future, mind you, I think it's time for the triumphant return of a series that we actually couldn't triumph over ourselves. Lights out. And as far as who we will be picking, I believe that decision has been already made for me. We are entering this world without light as none other than Maxwell, everybody. Now, when I did this series, or at least attempted this series, well over a year ago, I ignored Maxwell because I thought his sanity gain that negates the sanity drain of night would make things a little too simple. But the whole notion of Maxwell versus Charlie is something that absolutely sold me, and I'm all for it. Besides, we only have 75 health for Pete's sake. It might still be a challenge. And let's be real, it wasn't actually the lights out that killed me. It was freaking Berger. Okay, but welcome everybody, welcome. Without, I just gotta go. <laughs> okay, lights out is so, so freaking stressful. Oh my gosh, and there's already spiders right here. Lights out is so stressful, everybody. It you, You're constantly under pressure to make sure you are ready to go. So, oh, let's do this. Not a bad idea to light your way now and then. Ooh, a mole worm, you say. Hmm, that's not a bad find, but it's not the find that I'm necessarily going to be going for this time because I kind of did that the first time. Trust me, it'll make sense in a second. But we're off, folks. We're off. I found some twigs and grass. Thank goodness. <gasps> Ooh, thank goodness this was not a twiggy tree world. Oh my gosh, could you imagine that? But there we go. There we go. I lost one torch. Immediately out of the next one. That's what you got to be ready for at this early stages. You got to have stuff at the ready. Beautiful. We got some grass. Good, good, good. But objective number one on day one here, hopefully find ourselves a little gold vein here and there, but also get ourselves down into the caves, everyone. We need to get a lantern ASAP. Folks, I have myself a companion I don't want the stage hand hello my friend hello but i also found the mosaic biome everybody beautiful beautiful also how the heck are you working at night beard that was close i don't know why it took so long for me to equip that uh, equip that how am i working at night easy let me find a vein over here uh as long as you do this mouse over this boom 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 and hold it you should work through the night piss off charlie my first interaction with charlie everybody okay we got our gold, we got our gold. How much am I going for? While well, I'm here, might as well just go for it all, right? And son of a gun, thank you, Mosaic Biome, everybody. Okay, it begins, everybody. It begins. Down into, oh, no, 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 don't click the back. Click down here. Okay, good. It begins. Down into the caves we go. Gosh darn it, man. Lights out just hits different. I don't know what it is. It just hits different. I am so freaking stressed out. I just feel anxiety the whole time. <laughs> It's great. I love it. Hello, light bulbs. <gasps> Ooh. Buddy, turf, you say? Ooh. And apparently there's some bunnies over there. Okay. Interesting. Pretty much invested everything I have, everybody, into this. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Get two of these. Boom. Boom. And just like that, a lantern is ours. Beautiful. But trust me, it, that does not mean I am not going to have... Some, uh, backup torches, just in case something happens. Okay. Beautiful, everybody. Beautiful. Now what? Uh, let's actually hammer this so I don't actually lose it. Well, I guess I see no reason to leave the caves yet. I can probably do a lot of damage down here. I'm thinking I might be able to find the Lunar Grotto, everybody. If I can find the Lunar Grotto... Get myself some spider soak down here, because of course spiders are down in the caves. Mmm. There's some new toys since the last time that we played Lights Out, everybody. And I am definitely going to use them to my advantage. Oh, and they just kind of reacted how they do when they're fighting something. Are you guys actually fighting spiders nearby, potentially? That would be very, very bloody convenient. That would be a yes. Oh my goodness gracious. That was uh, not planned at all, but thank you, game. Why is there just one spider thing right there? I don't know, but we'll take it, I suppose. Okay, good, good, good. But 
Let's make sure we got some light bulbs on our side, Beard. Let's make sure we got some light bulbs. The usuals, everybody. Got myself that, got myself this, and you know what? Yeah, let's just invest immediately. I know that is a lot of twigs gone, everybody. I know it's a lot of twigs gone, but I'm in the biomes down here that pretty much give twigs. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my twigs back. I'm gonna go get my twigs back, and what we're actually after, everybody, we want the blue mush tree forest biome. After, of course, we find ourselves a mini light bulb biome outside of the usual light bulb biomes. Okay, this is not a bad start, everybody. And for those of you who are kind of afraid of our series, Ziz, turning into just boss killing showcases just with various characters, uh, this is going to be the series for you because there's no way we are rushing through this one. We are definitely, definitely going to have to build a base and go through all the bloody steps in this guy. You rush lights out, you die. Hmm, this muddy turf might be a tease, everybody, because it's a toadstool area spawn. Okay, okay, well, at least we got a blue gem out of it. We'll take it. My gosh, another blue gem! This one from a stalagmite! Okay, uh, I appreciate the blue gem game. Are you wanting me to go for a very quick, uh, what's it, Madugi Chester? Sure, why not? Oh my gosh, everybody, I found the promised land on a branch that I thought was going to lead to nowhere. What the heck is this branch doing, everybody? Okay, this bridge just saved our freaking lives. Game, I can take a hint. Okay, this is the second one of you I have found already. I get it, game. This time, I will actually continue on for the people if I die. And yes, everybody, if you actually never saw the original Lights Out, that is the series that I actually died in. It is the series that triumphed over us. So this time, apparently, I'll just use touchstones. But hello, my friend. Oh, it's the Lunar Grotto, everybody. It's beautiful. But here's the thing about Maxwell and the Lunar Grotto. <laughs> He's going to be constantly loony. But here's what we're here for, everybody. Bulb is freaking light bugs. Oh my, where's my lantern? Oh my gosh, make sure the lantern's always there so I know where it is. Gosh darn it, it's, that's what this, mm, this series is always gonna be that, man. It's always gonna be that. <laughs> One step, oh yeah, I forgot they just follow me. I forgot, I forgot, but folks, this is the start. This is the flippin' start. So say hello to Harry, Gary, and Larry, everybody. Oh my goodness, since I have one Bulbous Light Bug in my inventory, three of them will constantly hover around me in a circle, giving me permanent lights. Oh, if Charlie was pissed at Maxwell before, she's going to be absolutely furious with me in this playthrough. And hello, Mush Gnomes. You could not have come at a time better suited. Okay, unfortunately, I'm probably going to lose Harry, Gary, and uh, Jerry. What are their names? <laughs> I already forgot their names. I'm probably going to lose them. Ah, uh oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, thank you, Naked Mold. Oh, shoot. Please don't, 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 don't. No! <laughs> There goes Gary, or was it Larry? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, this is okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I love you, Biome. I love you, but I'm already losing. <laughs> I'm already losing people because of the freaking oh the grogginess, the grogginess, everybody. All right, all right. Now I can fight. Now I can fight you. Now I can fight you. Hello, naked mole bats. Oh my gosh, you had to call down a friend too. But all right, with the naked mole bats out of the way, you, my friend, you and I have to talk. Oh my gosh, you keep doing the perfect amount of these things. You're doing one as you walk, running, trying to get to you. You're also walking into the light or the darkness. I mean, not good for me. Not good for me. Ow, freaking heck, dude. Okay, I gotta be careful. I am not playing this very well right now. But there's reason for this madness, everybody. Okay, for one thing, I can eat these and make sure that I don't actually die to starvation because that would be quite the way to go <laughs> for another thing these guys are great ow these guys are great for where's my backpack great for living logs everybody living logs beautiful beautiful but i also got to make sure these guys don't die either but that should be pretty easy work my way into the archives everybody but the problem is food right now for sure so well i kind of just need to chop i kind of just need to chop and eat these mushrooms i really do <laughs> otherwise uh, yeah, this is gonna be over before be- Ah, oh, I gotta be careful. These things actually deal decent damage and I do not have a lot of health. You know what? 
no, I just need to get out of here. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm having more fun trying to just do the new stuff with the old series than actually survive right now. No, no, no. I, I just need to leave. <laughs> I need to leave before something bad happens. I need to get food. I need to make sure I'm secure. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. Uh, I love you, Biome. I love you. But you really, really rejected me this time. Also, my gosh, you're freaking huge. Wait a minute. Did they actually change... Bulbous light bugs not following you outside of the lunar grotto. Oh, interesting, everybody. Interesting. Never mind, it works, everybody. Don't know. Oh my gosh, this 75 health though comes gonna sneak up on you sometimes. I don't know why it didn't work the two times I tried to do it before, but it does freaking work. Okay, now you can see why bulbous light bugs are so flipping good though. Look at this, everybody. Oh my goodness, Lordal Color too. We have ourselves permanent light that can follow us all about the caves. Beautiful. And of course, bringing them out in our inventory means we're going to have this up above too. And speaking of up above, I think it's time to go back. <laughs> That biome kicked the crap out of us. The only reason we survived is pretty much because it's connected to the blue mush tree forest. So I was able to eat and heal. But I just want to survive. <laughs> so let's go back to the surface and do just that. But hold up, Beard. The bulbous light bugs can't actually follow you up above. So how the heck are you going to get them to follow you up here? Easy peasy. Drop three. Keep the rest in your inventory. Boom. Screw you, Charlie. So I guess then the only question remaining for the day is where the heck did we start setting up base, folks? Hmm, not entirely sure. I have walked past these ponds, just walked past them right now. And the only reason that's kind of noteworthy is because ponds will not spawn their frogs in lights out. Hmm, constant fish food, you say? That could be pretty enticing. And heck, I got a pretty wide open spot right here. The only problem is I don't know how far away or close it is to anything. I don't know. Something about it. <gasps> Ooh, especially with you guys here. There's only one of you, though. Maxwell's favorite food is lobster dinner. Because, of course, he is. He's a fancy son of a gun. I would be convinced... To camp somewhere nearby here, honestly. You know what? Yeah, I kind of dig it for some reason. I kind of dig this spot that I really, really normally would never tell people to base in. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it, everybody. So it begins, and thus we can actually play the game for once. <laughs> it's been several series that I've actually had to build a base, so let's get prepared for that. And of course, another reason why I wanted to go down into the grotto very quickly is because I knew I'd get some easy living logs up here too, everybody. Oh my goodness, pig galore. Hello, friends. Uh, I knew I'd get some easy living logs up here too with uh, totally normal trees, beautiful. For some quick magic crafting. We're Maxwell for Pete's sake. We're gonna benefit tremendously from it. Oh, you son of a gun game. Okay, uh, wasn't expecting that. And I also walked past it, apparently. Hello, Chester. I picked it up, but I didn't actually pick it up. <laughs> uh, hello, Chester. Okay, okay. You came at a pretty darn opportune time. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, I know it's a video game, everybody, but this is kind of too good not to point out. It's not very often that you just get roses as a natural flower in the world. This is the second one I've seen. When I was in this forest up here getting twigs, I found one. Now that I'm getting grass, I found another one. So in my head, Charlie is just watching me survive right now. And, uh, well, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> okay, Charlie, I get it. You're pissed off. Also, Beef, hello Beef, constantly going to be sleeping this entire time everybody, but as we continue this series, we will discuss lots of ways to sneakily get around uh, the day and night cycle nonsense. Oh, Guardian Pigs everybody, kind of the saviors of our first playthrough's first episode. Yeah, but they're in a meteor field so they're going to have a heck of a hard time. Yeah, I used their torches to my advantage and the woody lights out. Not going to be doing it this time. Ooh, a deciduous, everybody. Not sure if it's the actual Pig King deciduous or not, but this is a good find in more ways than one. If you're looking 
for fireflies, this is the place to be for sure. But I also could use some of the mushrooms that grow here very often to make sure I drop my sanity. Yeah, because sanity is obviously going to be very hard to manage as Maxwell because he's too freaking good at it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of... Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. You know what? That's a great idea. Yep, let's just go insane right now, kill ourselves one nightmare. Then we have everything we need for a very quick shadow manipulator, pretty much. Why, hello, dragonfly. Pretty much at the edge of a biome, you say? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a hodgepodge of things, ain't it? Um, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bee queen spawn too, dragonfly, and oh, I got bees attacking Chester. I think I found the actual deciduous forest. Oh my goodness, everything's kicking off right now on day 10 apparently. Wow, and I found the no idea immediately too. Okay, all right. No, Gary or Larry or Jerry or Harry, I'm gonna change their names about a million times. Oh, freaking catcoons. <laughs> Come on, catcoons, why you do this to me? Now, some of you out there might be wondering, what happens on a full moon day, Beard, when it's constantly night? Well, that means the entire day. The full eight minutes is filled with nothing but a full moon, everybody. Absolutely glorious. Oh, and hello, Glomer, by the way. So I got quite the entourage and caravan right now, everybody. Beautiful. Couple more berry bushes, then we'll have more than enough to get rolling. Hopefully then I can just uh, end on starting base, pretty much. And so it begins, everybody. My gosh, what's this? Beard is building a base. Oh, it's our first hound wave of the new series, everybody. You know what I'm immediately learning to do? Making sure these guys are in my actual taskbar down here before I take my backpack off. Otherwise, they go floating off by themselves with just aimless intentions. Yeah, it's, that's not good. Not good for us at all. Holy moly, Charlie really must be pissed. This was a four hound first wave. Ooh, boy. Yeah, uh, she's not happy. And of course, before these guys start going bad on me, it's time to light it up. Oh my goodness gracious. Better than fireflies? Not sure. Not sure. Fireflies stay in place, but they do also fade away when you get close. These guys don't. I don't know, but it's a good flipping start. But here's something people might not have thought about. They're probably thinking, oh my gosh, you got bulbous light bugs already. What the heck? It's gonna be the easiest thing in the world. In some ways, sure. But I need to have a bulbous light bug in my inventory at all times. Otherwise, I cannot have these three orbiting ones. At all. At all, everybody. So that is one dedicated inventory slot to a bug that I need to also keep alive because the moment it dies, I lose my guys. That's it, that's it. So that's another part of this that's gonna be quite the thing. Also, does that look all right? Well, it's fine. I think it's okay. They're not fertilized yet, that's the whole thing. But folks, it's coming together. It's coming together. I'm thinking, ooh, no, hold up, hold up. One more thing to do. I think we can do it pretty quick too. And step one, rabbits. And this is going to be incredibly easy to do. I don't know why I made more traps because I'm not even going to be using most of these traps because I can just dig up their... T All I have to do is dig up their homes, wait for them to fall asleep. I drop a trap right in their head. We capture them. That's how bloody easy. There's a lot of really small, nuanced things about Lights Out that are just kind of really, really fun to work around. That's one of them. Step two, spiders for their silk, everybody. But here's the thing about spiders and lights out. They're always gonna be out. So pick your battles wisely. Usually, nests are close together. That's not what we're looking for. Step three, graves. And all I needed was a red gem. Bloody heck, I got two. And I got, ooh, and I got a green gem. Green gem. Can you imagine green gems from freaking graves for Pete's sake? Uh, and I got a blue too. Okay, what else we got though? What else we got? Well, nothing particularly useful for the time being. But first things first, a Presta Hat to Tater. You love to see it. Second, a refined purple gem. And third, a shadow manipulator, everybody. Beautiful. 
Pretty freaking full. Now, I can't necessarily do too much right now, but this is going to be really handy soon, everybody. Nightmare Fuel. Nightmare Fuel is going to be tough to come by in this playthrough because we're playing this guy. Yeah, but that, I think, will do it for now, everybody. What a flipping start, I would say. Pretty darn good stuff. Bulbous light bugs for the win. Charlie's pissed, and my gosh, he's going to get even more pissed as the days go on. But next week, winter, everybody. Winter under the cover of darkness. Should be fun. Thanks for joining me for another round at Lights Out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.